Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can steal somebody's website and make it your own. You can steal all of the data from a website and then you can modify it, you can change something, you can change the name, the title, or whatever you want to do, you can do it. But before I show you how to do it, I just want to say that this is just for educational purpose. Um, I don't recommend you steal somebody's website and then you change something in it uh, and you publish it so people will be misled by it I'm not gonna be responsible so you have to keep in mind that this is just for educational purpose okay now let's jump right into it first what you want to do is you need to have a text editor in order to to do the code decoding for me, uh, I'm going to use PyDroid3 because I like it really much and also because I'm going to use Python for it. Once you, you have opened your text editor, just create a new text, a new file, and then save it to your favorite folder. I'm just going to save it into my web scraping project. Okay. Uh, let's name it uh, my web scraping okay dot pi yeah my web scraping dot pi here it is okay now what we need here is two modules we need a module called request and also beautiful soup. So we just start by importing them. Import request and then from BS4 import beautiful soup. Okay, the B should be in capital beautiful soup okay uh, those are the models that we're going to use in this uh, web scraping and then we create a variable uh, we name it page page equals request dot get and what we want to get is the URL of the website that you want to scrape so let's just go to Google and find uh, an interesting website uh, let's Barack Obama what house website yeah this looks really cool Barack Obama yeah we see the list of the president's name here here it is Barack Obama okay right below here we have the picture of Barack Obama we can screw this website up once we have uh, run the application. Now let's just copy the URL. URL is copied and now let's paste it into our code. Paste it there. Okay. Next what we're gonna need is HTML parcel HTML parser so for that purpose we're gonna to need to use beautiful soup so first we get a variable soup equals beautiful soup okay. 
beautiful soup and then we pass the page there and get the content page.content okay comma and then html parser dot parser okay the last step we're gonna we're gonna need to do is we need to save the soup into our phone and then we can modify it later in a text editor so just with open we, we're creating a file here we're gonna write the soup into HTML format so give it a name uh, let's name it Obama President Obama Yep dot hmm. HTML and then W S file and then we write it into HTML format file dot write file dot write soup okay it, it should be in string so string soup that's all now what we need to do is just save it and then open the saved file into a text editor so let's just run it Yeah, it's run successfully. Now we can open the file that we have saved into our phone. So let's just open our local files and find a folder where we save the file. I save it in here, web scraping, and find Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. Here it is. And then we open it in another code editor. For this purpose, I'm going to use a code. You can also find it in Play Store. So, so here it is. This is the data that we get from the uh, website. We can change the data. We can change the element of the website right here. So let's change the name of Prabhuama and change it into our own name. So we just type here Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Hmm, sorry, not double R. Barack Obama and change it into our name. This is my name. Okay, next. Just change them. And next, what we want to do is find the word Obama and change it into our first name. Okay, that's all. Now we can run this application and we can see the website has been changed. Now let's run it. Open the browser. Okay, now we can see President Nuhyamin. Okay with a nice smile. Now 
Okay, let's check the the list of the president's name here uh, to see if there is a new name here. Okay, yep, here it is. Uh, the president Nuhyamin. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is fun. Okay, let's let's check. Yeah, when Nuhyamin was elected president in two thousand eight, so. I was elected president uh, in 2008. Okay, right above here. Nohyamin served as the 44th president of the United States. His story is the American story. Okay, look here. Nu's father, Barack Assar, a Kenyan economist, met his mother, and so on. This is so fun. In his memoir, Dreams from My Father, 1995, Nu describes the complexities of discovering his identity, identity in adolescence. Okay. Yep. Okay, this is one, this one is uh, really fun. Really funny. Learn more about Nu Hyamin's spouse. Michelle Nu. President Nu Hyamin and First Lady Michelle Nu pose with their daughters Melia and Shasta. Okay, so you see how we can change somebody's website using web scraping. Okay, but please don't publish this website into your own website because that is considered piracy and that is bad. I don't recommend you to do that. That is so evil. But uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial and uh, see you in the next video with more interesting ideas uh, that I'm gonna give you. See you guys, thanks so much.